So who have we interviewed so far, and who's, who do we have to interview next? Um, so we're doing Beth Brownfield next tomorrow. I'm Freddie Lane, a member of the Lummi Nation. And I'm Jason with the Natural History Museum. We're collaborating on a new traveling exhibit called Quell Hoi, We Draw the Line, that uplifts indigenous leadership in movements to protect land, water, and our collective future. For the last 15 years, the House of Tears Carvers, led by Master Carver Jewel James, has been transporting totem poles around the world as a way of bringing communities together and highlighting issues. The most recent series has focused on drawing a line in connection between communities on the front lines of the environmental crisis and drawing a line in the sand against fossil fuel expansion projects. I've been an organizer and documentary videographer on most of the journeys. On our end, we started the Natural History Museum by teaming up with 150 of the world's top scientists to urge museums to cut ties to fossil fuel producers. In the last two years, eight museums have stepped up to the plate, and oil mogul David Koch, a top funder of climate denial, left the board of New York's American Museum of Natural History. Museums see more visitors annually than sporting events and theme parks combined. They are one of the most trusted sources of information in society. They shape and normalize perspectives on nature and culture. Historically, they have also had a problematic relationship with indigenous people from around the world. If museums are to be relevant today, they need to be telling the story of what's happening. The climate and environmental crisis we face didn't just happen. They're a result of greed and exploitation. Native prophecies warned us that the rivers and the skies will turn black if we don't change our ways. We know that water is life, and oil, gas, and coal are death. We're in a new moment. One million people checked into Facebook when water protectors at Standing Rock were threatened with eviction. That is a story that people are interested in and needs to be told. Through doing this work with museums, we found that there are a lot of directors and curators that are sympathetic and want to engage these issues in their museums. Despite the fact that entire nations have been built atop the idea that the objects contained within museums represent dead cultures, there's a spirit that lives on in them that will never be extinguished. And this is what Quahoy, We Draw the Line, is all about. The exhibition will debut at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History in Pittsburgh during a conference with 500 delegates from natural history museums from around the world. With Quahoy, we are unleashing the power of museums as agents of change. Our goal and our hope is that rather than gathering dust inside the museums, the pole will gather the power of Mother Earth's red line into the museum, linking it in a chain of solidarity with those who are struggling to protect the living universe for future generations.